All right, so this year, my tomatoes are getting hammered <laughs> with early blight. Early blight happens uh, in the humid and hot climates here in East Texas, very hot, very humid. It starts off with little spots on the leaves like you see here, and with a little yellow around those spots too. And that keeps spreading. It keeps spreading and it starts killing the leaf off like this here. After that, it'll continue and it'll kill the whole branch or the vine uh, of that leaf. Or I should say the whole branch um, of that leaf. Um, and it really wreaks havoc on your tomato plants. Now, as you can see, I have it only, well, I shouldn't say only, but mostly it started at the bottom and it's working its way up the plant and it's just devastating them. This happened so fast. Um, it was just last week where there was some spots and I should have treated it then. But I had a lot of other things I had to do and as a result of me, of my neglect, now I have a problem here um, with my tomato plants dying off. I should be able to save it. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to remove these branches here. Uh, you can use clippers. Uh, they say to disinfect your uh, pruning shears or whatever, uh, whatever you use, disinfect them between each branch. I have 200 and something, 250 something uh, uh, tomato plants here, if not more. Um, I'm not gonna do that, but what I am gonna do is cut off all the branches, get rid of them, get them out of the area because it'll just reinfect. Uh, I'm going to put mine in a bucket and then put them in the burn pile and, 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 get, and burn them. Do not compost them because uh, the fungus doesn't compost. Uh, if you use it back in your garden again, in your soil, you think it's composted, but that fungus is still living in that compost, you're going to reinfect it because it is a soil type fungus. Okay. So, like I said, it started at the leaves at the bottom and it's working its way up now. What we're going to do, like I said, we're going to remove the leaves. After that, we are going to treat them and let me show you how we're going to treat them. First thing we're going to do is, well, first of all, everything I'm going to use here is, is for, good for organic gardening. Uh, this is Dr. Earth uh, fungicide right here. Okay, I'm going to put a link to all this stuff in the uh, description uh, below the video where you can get it. And this is good for organic gardening. This is a fungicide. And it's basically rosemary oil, uh, clove oil, and peppermint oil, and some inert ingredients. Those three ingredients there are uh, good for uh, getting rid of the fungus. So this, this type of sprayer here, would hook up with your hose, flip it on, and just you know, start spraying away at your plants, get them nice and drenched, all underneath, all over the top. And then what I'm gonna do after that, Next thing we're going to use is a copper solution, okay? This we're going to put, it says to mix, uh, it was three to five teaspoons per gallon of water in a pump sprayer, okay? In a sprayer like this, all right? This is a gallon pump sprayer. And um, three to five teaspoons, five teaspoons I figured out it equals to just over a, a one and a half tablespoons. So per gallon. Of uh, so this concentrate it should last a long time. Um, so I already got that mixed up, and after we spray it with the Dr. Earth uh, fungicide, we're gonna let that dry up just a little bit, and then we're gonna spray it lightly. Well, not lightly, but we're gonna spray pretty good with the uh, copper spray also. I gotta save these things because I don't want, I, I worked so hard <laughs> to put all these tomatoes in here and I'm looking forward to some delicious tomato sauce I wanna make this year. Uh, we've been eating these tomatoes and they are fantastic. They, they're great tasting tomatoes. Uh, but unfortunately this year we got hit with a lot of rain and it's getting really hot and, um, and that's a good combination for uh, a fungal infection. In fact, I even have blight on my uh, pear trees and on my apple trees. It's, it's bad this year. But what are you going to do? That's life, right? All right, guys, so let me, uh, let me show you how to do this. 
All right, so what we need to do here first is remove all this dead foliage here, uh, branches, whatever it is, remove it. As long as it's dead, get it out of there. Uh, the ones that just have spots on them, uh, we're going to treat uh, the rest of the plant with the uh, fungicide. Uh, get yourself some snips or, or pruning shears or scissors, whatever you have. Uh, disinfect them. You could use uh, one part bleach to four parts water, or one and three, I should say. A one part bleach to three parts water. So that's a 25% uh, solution uh, of bleach and water. And after every cut or so, dip them in that water, uh, bleach water, and keep on going. And that'll, uh, it'll keep it from spreading. In my situation, everything is just, it's just beyond, you know, it doesn't matter what I do here. Um, it's just, it's going to infect everything else. But if you got a few plants that are doing this, uh, keep your uh, pruning shears uh, disinfected uh, between cuts. So we basically have to take off all this dead stuff and put it, get yourself a pail or something and put it in there. And uh, again, do not compost it. It needs to be thrown in the trash or burned because it's a fungus and composting it will not kill it. And of course now that I'm touching this, this uh, fungus, it's on my hands. So if I start touching other leaves, uh, it's going to infect those too. But in my situation again, it, it's everything's infected. So it doesn't really matter, but uh, again, be careful. You, if you touch your tomato plants and then go to a different area of your garden and start touching those plants, you're going to infect those too. So beware of that. So you want to remove at least as much as you can. You can't get it all, don't worry about it. I got I got way more than I had anticipated here. But uh, just get as much as you can off. Some of it will come off real easy because the whole branch is dead. Like those, it just, <laughs> there's nothing there, it just comes right off. The whole leaf will come right off. And then some you gotta cut or otherwise you'll end up uh, damaging the um, the vine of the uh, tomato. But see, the, the ones that are all dead like that, they come right off. And the ones that are really bad, you're going to have to cut them. I mean, uh, you know, something like this, where they're still green, where they're connected here. Uh, better off just snipping those. So you don't damage the uh, tomato plant. All right, so I cleaned up one entire row here um, the best I could. I ended up filling up an entire five gallon bucket and I have it packed down too. So that is gonna go to the burn pile where I'm gonna burn them. So we got this pretty cleaned up. Like I said, get, do it the best you can. So the next thing we're gonna do is get our fungicide spray here. And we're just going to start spraying these, saturate the plant. And I got this trellis here, and on both sides of this trellis, there's tomato plants. So we're going to saturate everything really, really good. All the way down to the root. or to the stem down there, the base of the uh, tomato plant. Right to the ground level. And if you got some areas here that it's kind of clustered up, up like this, it's clustered all up, then uh, make sure you get it good. All right. On to the next one.
And this stuff here is good uh, for your fruit trees too. And one bottle, it says, will cover 5,000 square feet. All right. Again, we got to do both sides. All right, so now we sprayed, I sprayed this entire first row, both sides. Um, we're going to do our um, copper spray. Now, like I said, it was a uh, five teaspoons per gallon of water. And make sure you have a good sprayer, and it's like a cone type spray on there. You don't want to stream or nothing like that. And what we want to do is just saturate all the leaves best you can everywhere. Ev everywhere that you see there's a disease, you see those spots. All underneath get your sprayer down in there and get everything around the plant best you can I'm really hoping that this, it's not too late. <laughs> I hope it's not too late. But I don't think it is because this is early blight. Early blight you can catch. Um, most of the leaf gets destroyed, but not so much the vine or the stem of the plant. Um, unlike late blight. Late blight, if you got late blight, it destroys, it kills your plant and there is no remedy, there's no hope for it. You're better off just pulling it out of the ground and uh, throwing it away, burning it. But this is early blight and we can catch this. It'll start regrowing new uh, suckers and vines and all that and it'll keep going. Um, but it's something you have to take care of early on. I missed it. And I let it get too advanced or too far, and um, that was my fault. Uh, but next time, I'm going to be ready for it. As soon as I see those little spots, those little brown spots on the leaves, hit it with the copper, or hit it with the other fungicide, or both, and, and take care of it. And what I really need to do, if you find some on the ground like this, I need to pick this up and tie these to the trellis. They're falling over. But you don't want them touching the ground because it is a, a soil-borne fungus. And uh, I guess what happens if the leaves touch the ground, you notice most of the leaves are gone now. I usually take the bottom you know, foot off the uh, plant. Um, but if the leaves touch the ground or if it rains real hard and it splashes up on the leaves, you get it on your leaves. That's why it starts on the bottom first and it works its way up like that. Um, so it's best to treat it early on and not late like I did. I think we'll be all right. I got plenty of tomatoes. But uh, I didn't want to lose my plants. All right, so both sides, same way with the uh, copper spray, and that should do it. All right, that was my first row. I got one, two, three, four, five, six more rows to go. <laughs> and I gotta have to get my Italian squash because they're suffering too. Uh, it's the first time I've, I've grown these every year, these Italian uh, cuguts as they're called. Um, I've grown them every year and nothing touched them, nothing. This year we got a little more rain, uh, it's getting hot and humid, uh, and it's affecting them. So I think it's the rain that did it. 
anyways guys I hope you found this video informative uh, remember the copper spray uh, first I, I first do the um, the um, uh, Dr. Earth uh, fungicide spray wet everything down really good wait a little bit I'll let it dry just a little bit um, and then hit it with the uh, copper and it'll be a double whammy <laughs> all right guys so again hope you found it informative uh, please uh, like subscribe to my channel share this video and I will see you guys in the next video <music>